Hello, and welcome back to Tech It. Look at this, this is going at super speed. Wow. Oh, it's blocking up though. This needs to, uh. This needs to suck out faster. Crap. Okay, let's sort this out. Let's sort this out. Let's get another redstone engine, some levers. Where can I get levers from? There we go, there's some levers. Uh, engine! Okay, so yeah. Oh god, I thought I had this going perfectly, but apparently not. Oh, I just need that. So now it's sucking out twice as many, but it's still getting backed up. It's producing too much, it's producing more than I can take out. Let's just take these out manually for now. <laughs> Look at all this. Decided to just smell everything from this chest. And look how quick it's going, it's just getting macerated almost instantly. Being pulled out two at a time. Smelted super quick. Thing is, when it changes. What it's smelting, if it's still got something left in here, it tends to get a bit backed up, which is what's happened now. But we can sort that out. There we go. So yeah, if at this speed you just need to, you need at least two redstone engines pulling stuff out, else it just can't keep up. Or you, I guess you could use um, like a combustion engine, but that's <laughs> very dangerous. Or you could just uh steam engine maybe would be a bit quicker. But I find that two redstone is, is usually enough. Cool. I'll um just show you around what I've been doing. I've improved my tower a lot because I didn't like the look of it before. So now it looks kind of cooler. I've got given it some vines, some little trimmings. Uh I kind of tapered it in a bit there so it looks kind of more wizardy and I've given it these little horns on the roof I didn't know why but I thought they looked cool and I've got a kind of bridge going across to my house so I can get from my tower to my house without going through the Tesla coil which is nice it's around here doopie doopie doo. yeah and there's a ladder down awesome beans so today I think I'm gonna start by showing you something cool you can use for decorating uh, so I'll get a couple of rubies out because that's what I need and uh, I think it's some sticks and some iron normal iron some sticks don't know where I've got them bound to be somewhere around there's some So what, you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build what's called a ruby saw. So you build it like this with some sticks, some iron, and then a kind of gemstone blade. Now this item is super cool. It basically allows you to cut blocks up into smaller blocks. So just say I've got, um, let's get some wood out. So I've got some wood, uh, grab a bit of dirt, and I can make a kind of nice little flower pot, I think, outside my... Uh, so my what whatever this is <laughs> tower. So what you do is you put just say I wanted to cut a block of wood in half, you put it in the crafting bench with the saw uh like that. Now that cut it in half vertically, I think you can do it the other way, maybe you can't. So I can cut that in half vertically, and that makes two two of these and you've got this kind of interface for putting them down, right? So you can put them flat, like a half block, or you can put them like that. And you can make some kind of neat looking things out of this. See, look, you couldn't get that shape any other way. You can cut them in half again, doing the same thing. Let's get four. Cool, eh? Very cool. So, I could make like a 
lawn chair or something. <laughs> I don't know. There's so much you can do with these saws to make decorations, it's amazing. I can also cut that in half yet again to make the thinnest ones. And this is what I'm going to use for my flower pot. I'm going to put a block of dirt down. Uh, let's put it here, and then I'll surround it with these. Oops. Now look at that, it's lovely. Now I could just put a flower in it or whatever, and it would look beautiful. Hmm. <laughs> Very cool. It's like a cat flap, doesn't it? <laughs> Ooh. So I've got myself a rose. The grass is growing on this now. There you go. So look at that. It's lovely. Lovely. Mm. Hello, chicken. <laughs> my dinner. What else can I do with this cool mod? Let's build some furniture up in my attic. Dun, 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 dun. So you, you've got the original kind of stair chair that you can make, but using this thing you can make a bunch of stuff. So let's cut a piece of blue wool in half. Um, Where's my sword? There he is. And again, we'll keep that one. Let's see what we can do with these two. Oops. Let's see, that's going to be the seat, and then we can put the back on the chair. And then, let's see if we can cut that. I can cut that again, um, that way, horizontally, to make a kind of pillar looking thing. It's like a bit like that. And I can put that as like an arm, maybe. Maybe not. I think we can cut that in half again to make a kind of little tiny cube. There we go. Or vertically to make. Oh no, you put it in a crafting bench to make a, a post. There's, also, there's so many different things, like this is quite a cool looking thing. It goes in the middle of a block, as opposed to um, or like at, at a corner, which is what it's for. And these little cubes can be fun. I'm not really sure what I could do with this one. I don't know. I kind of want to get a, an arm, but I don't think it's possible. No. <laughs> I guess that's quite a cool looking chair. I don't know. We could put something else on it, maybe. How about a really light bit? God. <laughs> so many. Oops. It could be like a very deep chair with big arms. That's quite, that's quite cool. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. And then we can make like a table. Cut up some wood. Again. Let's uh, cut this up. And again, and then horizontally to get a uh, a panel thingy, which is basically um, looks like a a fence block. Can't put it vertically. Why not? Because it's not a plot. Okay. Ah, there we go. So then I could just like, um, you know, I could plonk one of these down. On top of that, I could put something like this. Nice little table. Or, you know, I could change this to stone. Oops. Marble. Let's make a little marble surface. That'll be lovely. Oh yeah, we can make like a, a kitchen. Cool. Stick one of them on top. Oh, our kitchen surface needs to be at the side, really, doesn't it? So let's move it, move it over here. Oh, 
Look at that. That's cool. Oops. That's fine. If I put one here. It's like a cupboard. Oh! Beautiful! The possibilities are literally endless. So, what could we do? Could we put a, a sink somewhere? I don't know. Some more marble. Let's cut a bit. Cut a bit more marble up. Let's see what we can do with that. Um, no. See so if you. Mm, okay, that could work. Let's just cut it again. So you get eight of these for just one single block. This should be enough to hold water, because it's not actually filling the block. So now if we get a bucket of water... So we've got a bucket of water, and if we just um, if we just fill it in here... Oh, you've got a lovely little sink. And we could just stick a lever there to look like a tap. Oh, how cool is that? Yeah, we can add another surface. Wow, now we can just, if you had like a furnace, this chair's kind of in the way now. Let's cut this one off. We can put one here, and there, like a little set of drawers. It's looking kind of cool. I mean, you can just keep... I could just do this all day, just building. See what you can do, really. Back this with some blue. That looks kind of nice. <laughs> I mean, this is just random, really, but it's always fun. It's all fun. Oh, okay, so that's the saws. It can pretty much cut any block. I'm not sure if it can, can cut obsidian. Let's just test it. Nah, it can't cut obsidian, which is fair enough. Maybe the diamond one can. Oh dear. Oh, that's got horrible. Yeah, so that's um that's the saws. You can do some really cool looking stuff with them. Um, play around, have a lot of fun, and see what you can come up with. So uh until next time, goodbye.